Austin. We're gonna welcome Kurt Neal to the stage. Y'all give it up for Kurt! Thank you, thank you. I haven't been here in a while. So, I'm from Tampa. That means I'm spicy white trash. And just like that bridal party that's here, I've done a lot of things that made me a piece of shit on accident. So, and a lot of those moments involved me saying things that I immediately wish I could grab out of the air. I don't know if any of you have ever had these wonderful moments, or if any of them have ever been so awfully bad, like 9-11 Hurricane Katrina level bad, that it haunts you for years and years, and just lives in your anxiety and nightmares. This particular story happens way back when, in 2013, many moons ago, and I was a 17-year-old lifeguard, scrawny, awkward, and dating the first love of my life. This is where you go, aww. And we had a little game going where we would people watch and pick out people that we found attractive and say little things to each other that would make each other just jealous enough to make the sex really, really good. And me being the asshole that I am, accidentally took it too far, and we had our first fight. Which, as we all know, is a very big moment in every relationship. Because usually, it's what it is. So, I may have picked out somebody who I knew would piss her off because she picked out somebody who she knew I would, or would piss me off. And we go back and forth, back and forth, and I'm getting really upset because this Adonis of a Scotsman is everything I wanted to be and everything I was self-conscious because I wasn't. And she was just laying in on it, and I'm digging my heels in and choosing a girl that I know is pissing her off. And, mind you, this girl, love of my life, I was 17, she was 19, brown hair, Scottish, like from Scotland, Scottish, and absolutely hot, way out of my league. So, needless to say, I was already feeling some kind of insecure, plus 17. And, so, I may or may not have said what is quite possibly one of the meanest and dumbest things I've ever said to somebody that I care about. When she asked, why are you getting so upset? It's not like anything would happen. To which I looked this girl dead in her eyes and said, the difference is I might actually do something about it. And immediately was just like, I really should not have said that. I fucked up. But it was already set in motion and I couldn't take it back. And she said, what? And like an idiot, I repeated myself. And we fought. Because she was understandably upset. So to make things worse, this other girl was Scottish, 19, looked exactly like her, same country, and the exact same name. They were both 19-year-old girls from Scotland named Amy. One was from Edinburgh, one was from Glasgow. So already, <laughs> I'm fucking up. And so, I end up getting my just desserts when we fight for two or three days straight. And then all of a sudden, on a Thursday night in the middle of Central Florida, by a lake on a bench, I'm apologizing as every dumb 17 year old boy has apologized to a girlfriend that he pissed off for some stupid reason. And all of a sudden, this biblical swarm of fucking mosquitoes, mind you, I'm in a kilt, descends upon the supple flesh of my little 17 year old testicles, and I'm jumping and dancing and screaming in pain as, like, I'm getting tore apart by these bugs. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. She started laughing. We ended up having the most gentle makeup sex of my life after that. 
And don't oh, fucking four years later we broke up because I realized I was toxic. Or she pointed out to me that I was toxic. And then five years later I've worked on myself. So it has been my time. I've enjoyed it. And I'm also a self-published author. I'll be hacking my books in the back. Yeah. Yeah.